Hello there, welcome to the Perfect Experience. My name is Rodney. So we're back again today with another video and I have four fragrances from the house of Ahmed Al Maghrabi. And these are official samples uh, and I got this from a Facebook seller called uh, Talib Musabai and uh, he's basically got these samples that you can get for very very less. So the fragrances that I've got is uh, Summer Oud, I've got Rose Noya and then there is uh, Bombay Oud and uh, of course rose and, uh, oud and roses okay so these are uh, four fragrances and i'm going to talk to you about them and uh, talk about a little bit about the scent profile because i was able to give it a wearing uh, you know a single wearing uh, but i just to get to understand the notes and you know what's the performance like and a bit of the projection of this particular fragrance right now the first fragrance let's talk about here is called summer oud okay now as uh, you know uh, the name says this particular fragrance is definitely created towards a good uh, summer but and you need to understand understand one element here that all of these are uh, fragrances that are uh, you know inspired from the Middle East so the way you are assuming uh, a summer fragrance to be is not typically the way and this is slightly different right now this particular fragrance for example has got a little bit of amber it's got saffron it's got incense it's got mandarin uh, it's got patchouli it's got cashmere it's got oak moss and of course oud as well on this particular fragrance along with leather and musk now for me this particular fragrance when I smell it up close also it's a more leathery musk rosy fragrance but it's a very sharp uh, you know uh, fragrance right it's uh, uh, in the way to say that the wood on this particular fragrance is very uh, lean and very um, cut off kind of a thing it's not very thick and dense or you know very uh, molded it's more sharper right now having said that this particular fragrance feels more like a musky uh, leathery kind of a fragrance and less of a wood kind of a fragrance Although this particular fragrance scent profile is really really good, it uh, you know it's very very nice and it continues to be on that same uh, musky feeling for a long time. Projects really really well and this I can tell you that easily lasts about 12 hours at least on your skin. Okay, so the performance is fantastic and I think for summer it's a very very nice kind of a fragrance, especially if you think about how the floral accords of rose, patchouli, and of course how uh, cashmere is brought into this particular fragrance with oak moss and. Give Giving that bit of freshness that you need at the same time there's that top note of incense and the leather note that's playing at the background and this will give you a very very musky uh, fragrance especially and a little bit of that animalic tone because of the leather right but on the whole this is a very nice fragrance and the rose in this is a little uh, you know uh, linear I would say and uh, the uh, saffron is a little more uh, you know uh, prominent in terms of the slight sweetness that it brings but the sweetness is very well blended with amber and leather so you know it's a pretty good fragrance to try especially for day wear for summer for the long heat and you know the good humidity if you want a long lasting fragrance you can definitely consider summer oud the next fragrance let's talk about is called rose noya now this is a fantastic fragrance and i feel this is a gem and uh, i will try and get the whole bottle of this to do a detailed review of this particular fragrance because this surprised me the most on this particular uh, set of four fragrances now this particular fragrance has got orange it's got jasmine it's got ginger at the top and uh, in the base it's got uh, vanilla it's supposed to have powdery sea uh, you know sea salt kind of an accord and then at the base this has got cashmere and sandalwood and musk but keeping all of that aside this particular fragrance is sweet it's thick it's velvety it's like a you know a musk uh, you can say like a good cashmerian shawl or a nice sweater that you're wearing which has got that rich feeling that you know velvety coating to it that's the type of fragrance this is and i would say this leans a lot towards a gourmand kind of a fragrance uh, when you compare it especially with the uh, you know samarud which is more sharper this is very very beautifully done very blended uh, you know very smooth very nice and very uh, classy in my opinion this is uh, smelling like all almost like a niche category of fragrance and something that's very very uniquely done and yet very very beautiful now this particular fragrance uh, after a certain time after the first 45 50 minutes starts becoming like that lux soap that you have right if you have used a lux soap and where you have that uh, a rosy vibe that you kind of get you know that's the kind of a feeling that you kind of get on this particular fragrance and that rose note which is there the top element which is your jasmine orange and mandarin is kind of you know built very well with that sea salt accord so you get that little bit of that marine kind of a feeling 
not the aquatic types but more of the saltiness that you kind of expect but then there is also a lot of sweetness in this particular fragrance which makes it a very very beautiful blend and i think this will be a fantastic wear uh, of all the four fragrances i would say that this was the biggest highlight for me and i kind of you know captured my senses because i did not expect this to be like this i was probably expecting it to be another rose kind of a fragrance but this is very well done and I must tell you that you have to definitely try this to experience something very, very unique. And Ahmad Al Maghrabi has got a fantastic fragrance here. And just look at the uh, concentration level and look at the oil level that, you know, residue of one uh, spray that you get. So, you know, performance is good. Projection is good. Uh, although I would say this is also on your skin for a long time. You can smell it up to eight, nine hours easily. But during that point of time, it becomes a little powdery, a little more softer as it goes by. But that sweet note continues to be there. It's a very, very nice fragrance to consider. This is Rose Noir from Ahmed Al Maghrabi. Let's talk about the next fragrance, and that is basically Bombay Oud. Okay, so now this is the brown, uh, you know, packing for it, and I will tell you how Bombay Oud is as a fragrance. Uh, now this particular fragrance uh, you know has got uh, basically leather it's got um, oud and of course it's got uh, uh, you know citrus elements like orange it's got a little bit of rose uh, it's got pear which is an extremely very nice uh, element to it it's got sandalwood it's got musk amber benzoin and of course oud now for me this particular fragrance feels more like a uh, <clears throat> slight animalic kind of a fragrance okay with the leather being there and the oud being there this is more of a leather fragrance than a oud fragrance uh, while in summer oud the oud is there there is also leather there but there is incense but here there is no incense there is sandalwood there is leather there is oud but the extremely beautiful element of that mandarin and all of that but there is a beautiful element of pear on this particular fragrance which makes this a very nice fragrance now while at one point you have those animalic notes of that leather and oud playing up but right at the back okay you have a slight hint of roses that's going across and then after a certain time you start feeling that fruity vibe of that uh, pear now uh, if you smell the pear soap you know after uh, you have had a bath or you know you, after that if you smell your skin you know that pear uh, freshness that you get from that soap that's the kind of feeling this particular fragrance goes for after about two hours time when the dry down this particular fragrance becomes something like that although you will still get whiffs of that uh, leathery uh, accord and wood accord still being there but the dry down of that uh, pear accord is something really really nice and this is a very nice fragrance for uh, the weather okay especially in summer and uh, you know that uh, the kind of temperature that we are in at about 32 35 degrees and all all of that it will work very well this is very masculine uh, kind of a scent it's not a very uh, unisex kind of a scent while i would say rose noir is extremely unisex uh, uh, in this list and uh, some of this probably somewhere in between Bombay Oud is up there as a very masculine, dark, leathery, animalic kind of a scent along with a little bit of a powdery tone to it. So this is also a very uh, nice recommendation uh, to try and especially if you want to try a Oud kind of a fragrance, right? Now the last fragrance on this list is called Oud and Roses. Now Oud and Rose is a fragrance which has got a very unique element. Though it's, this has got Oud, this has got Roses, this has got Turkish Rose, it's got Lavender, um, it's got Sandalwood, it's got also Incense, Frankincense. Then it's also got uh, oak moss and musk and amber okay but for me when i kind of you know uh, put this particular fragrance on i will tell you this feels for me more like a husky kind of a, a scent profile where the oud has got that husky nature and because of that musk element also and because of the little bit of that citrus element right at the top where you have lemon and you have lavender you get that powdery vibe to it okay you have a nice background of lavender that's running across but it's more of a husky kind of a fragrance and don't think about it by the name as oud and rose this is not your typical oud rose combination at all this is more of a musky kind of a fragrance with the oud that's giving you a husk like nature right think about like a uh, you know if you've taken hay and you've kind of you know smelt hay or if you smelt uh, like a um, um, a very vetiverish, uh, grainy, uh, gr uh, grassy kind of a nature, a dry grass. That's the kind of, you know, uh, you know, feeling that you kind of get with this particular fragrance in terms of its scent profile. Now, while Bombay Oud is more leathery, more animalic kind of a fragrance, uh, Oud and Roses is more musky and more um, hay kind of a scent profile and it also lasts long performance and projection is fantastic on all four fragrances no doubt about it and uh, even on this you can see the kind of the you know uh, signature of the scent that it leaves the oil stain is pretty evident you know it's pretty strong that way so you know that this fragrance is going to last 
So all of them have been on my skin roughly about 10 to 11 hours easy on my first spray and you know it, and you get a very good vibe of all the four fragrances especially if you wear it like this you kind of smell everything very nicely but the one that stayed the most on my skin is definitely Summer Oud which I tested very very nice but if you want to look at a very unisex fragrance then I would say look at Rose Noyer and if you want to look at a typical gentleman a leathery uh, you know old school kind of a fragrance then definitely look at uh, uh, Bombay Oud and if you're looking at a fragrance which has got a lot of musky uh, element a little bit of freshness because of that lemon and lavender and a little bit of the powdery accord then definitely think about Oud and Roses right so you can check out all of these and uh, you know you can uh, reach uh, Talib Musa Bai for samples official samples I think are about 120 rupees for each one of them and you can look, pay the shipping as well so you can get it from them and try these fragrances before you get a full bottle you can watch my video for calf which is already reviewed as well so you know if you like that kind of a summer fragrance you can definitely try right so that has been my very quick you know synopsis of uh, Ahmad Al Maghrabi's four fragrances if you like the video hit the like button share your comments and subscribe and let me know what next would you like to watch okay up until that time you're watching the perfume experience my name is Rodney Cheke bye now